welcome back to the Mind Body Soul Homemaking. My name is Audrey. If you are new, I make motivational homemaking videos, wife life content, traditional living, and possibly a little bit of mommy content coming. But today I just wanted to bring you along and do a little midweek motivation, I think I'm gonna call it. Just that midweek slump where you're kind of just like, uh, you know? <laughs> yes, I, am. I also wanted to mention that sometimes when I do film, I could have like prefaced this in my other videos, but when I do film, sometimes I do have to break it up into two days, but I don't want you to look at that and compare and be like, whoa, she does a lot, and look at me, like I barely do this, but. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and find some inspiration or motivation. Like I mentioned in my last video, I think it's important to, I don't know, shed light or no matter what a person appears to be or look like online, they're all going through their own mental struggle. I am, you know, I've suffered with depression my whole life. It's it's sporadic, it's up and down, and I, you know, we all suffer with negative thoughts. I feel like, I don't want this intro to be too long, but I just wanted to maybe to incorporate mental health and homemaking in my videos, and I hope that I help you guys, ladies, feel like you're not alone. I struggle with it too, so. Yeah, just don't give up. And like my friend, she made a hashtag years ago that said, fall a thousand times, get up 1,001. So it doesn't matter how many times you fall, as long as you get up that one more time, it means you're succeeding, it means you're prevailing, it means you're winning the fight, and that's strength, that's courage. So don't beat yourself up no matter how many times you fall. I just wanted to say that, I don't know why, but anyways. Just go ahead and get on with today's video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, leave any video recommendations you have below or if you want to add to the conversation, um, encourage other sisters. I'm not for sure what all put in this video today. Hopefully you find some encouragement from it. And that's really my goal with these videos. It really does motivate me knowing that you guys, ladies, I don't know why you say guys, <laughs> message me and just tell me like that you appreciate my videos and that you found like you found them to be helpful that's all i can ask for so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling like i always do and everything all right let's just get started
You make a boy. He's not having it. I'm gonna go lay him down and then I'll be back to show you my smoothie. The horror. My battery's dying. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this before something else happens. I just wanted to make a quick smoothie. If you're familiar with my channel, I've shared this protein powder and I really like the Garden of Life. Um, brand it's raw it's organic and I like the unflavored no stevia but the only thing with this protein powder is that um, it kind of tastes not so good and you really have to mask it well to not taste it and even then it lingers but I compromise because it's clean and it's like I said the only one that I could find that didn't have like those hidden sugars and everything like that he's fine it's just I'm not in the room so he's just he knows I'm not in the room. He can sense it. But I was grocery shopping in Kroger's the other day and I found, and I well, I seen these new protein powders from Tone It Up and I follow them on YouTube and I really like their motivational workouts and things. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll give these a try. And what I really was impressed about was the very limited ingredients on the back and the fact that they're sweeteners, monk fruit extract. So no hen sugars. I mean, they use cane sugar, but it's organic. Uh, but yeah, very limited ingredients. I'll let you know. I'm going to try them out today and see whether I like them. They're plant-based, non-GMO, dairy-free. I am compromising because this is 22 grams protein and this is 15. I'll add like hemp seeds and, you know, other things just to boost in that protein powder. But uh, it's really good as women to get your protein uh, intake, but even more so if you're like breastfeeding and... I want to not complicate my smoothies anymore and I feel like I had to do that because I had to mask it so much that I you know put in all these ingredients and it took forever but if you are somebody who really wants you know smoothies but you feel like it takes too much time or you haven't found the right protein powder hopefully I'll let you know and see if I like these uh, I'm probably gonna make a chocolate one today and I'm also going to follow the guideline that I watch Sam here on YouTube. I'll link her YouTube below, but basically she shared her story of how she lost post her postpartum weight and how she had a smoothie every single morning and she just made it super simple. Protein, fats, veggies, and fiber. Fiber is one of those things that will keep you full longer. Yeah, we are going to do that today. For ingredients, you're you're welcome to add like a fruit, like a half a banana or something like that, just to spice it up a little bit. Some cinnamon. Like I said, this is supposed to be quick, simple, easy. Anybody who feels like you know they don't have a lot of time, they're moms, and they they want to get in that nutrition, that protein. It feels so good. All right, I'm gonna go check on him for the hundredth time, and just this is my life. Like I have to. Stop and start.
can't turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone You're probably wondering why I have three different creamers. Well, <laughs> I'm still on the search for the best creamer in the world. I'm still trying things out. So if you guys have any suggestions on what creamer you guys like, I don't like anything too sweet. I obviously want it to be healthy-ish and taste good, you know? I just picked this up, so we're gonna try it out. See what it tastes like. <laughs> the struggle is real. Could I use a friend? what I've been doing for my Bible study, or just real quick, I started it in the book of Job. And I recommend starting with something light and easy if you have trouble understanding the Bible. So Job, Proverbs, Psalms, what I'll do is, I really like to, I'll show you. This is my spiritual journal, and I highly recommend getting a spiritual journal. It's just any notebook that you can find that you like, and then you just write, like, it's almost like a spiritual journey, diary, yeah, I'll just put like goals in there and things that I have. But what I've been doing more recently is have this little, if you can see it, I have five different bullet points here. So it's definition, lesson, application, like how can I apply it in my life? What does this teach me about God? And then how can I help others? So what I'll do is if I come across a scripture in Job, for instance, Job 1.5, he would get up early in the morning and offer burnt sacrifices. So then I go through that list and then I'll write down, okay, what's the definition of sacrifice? It's a gift, offering, giving up, and then what's the lesson? It was the first thing he did in the morning. I don't want to get too in depth anything about, but I just wanted to show you like what I do for my Bible study and hopefully if you don't know where to start, maybe this is something that could help you just maybe start in the book of Job and make these five bullet points and then just write them out when you come across the scripture. I really like getting the definition of words like persistence or um, integrity, upright, things like that to where I can, I'll look up the definition and then I'll write it there. That way when I come across it again, I can just, you know, open it up and get fuller, you know, get more in depth, more dig deeper into the meaning of things. Just kind of break things down. Sometimes we feel like we have to read like chapters every single day, but if you just read like a couple verses a day and meditate on that for 10, 15 minutes, that's where you reap the benefits is if you take your time and meditate on what you're reading. There's also, I like jw.org. They have online Bible study lessons that you can take for free. Um, there's a wide range of article, Bible-based articles really a really a great website so if you want to learn more about the Bible I'd highly recommend checking out that but yeah I just wanted to share that real quick and what I've been doing uh, I may not get to it every single day but I am trying to make it a habit so yeah so <laughs>
Thank you.